I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and in this video I'm going to share with you what I know about resveratrol as a nootropic. What it is, why we use it, the science behind it, dosage, and side effects. Resveratrol is a naturally derived polyphenol antioxidant. This phytoalexin helps plants fight fungal infection. In insect infestation, stress, and ultraviolet radiation. And we are finding that resveratrol can be a potent nootropic. Initial research on resveratrol led researchers to believe that the compound works by mimicking calorie restriction and decreasing chronic inflammation. And as soon as word got out about the first clinical studies at Harvard Medical School, Red wine and resveratrol were soon christened the new fountain of youth. But Dr. David Sinclair, who led the Harvard study, says you would need to drink 100 to 1,000 glasses of red wine to achieve the doses that improve health in mice. However, more research has revealed that some rather profound benefits to adding resveratrol to your nootropic stack. Now, several human studies show that resveratrol can increase cerebral, cerebral circulation, protect against heart disease, and increase insulin sensitivity in diabetics. Even more studies in animals have shown that resveratrol can reduce depression, treat addictions, protect against memory loss, is anti-anxiety, uh, reduces plaques in Alzheimer's disease, improves learning, memory, and mood, and it prevents the brain from stroke and shields from hearing loss. Now, resveratrol is found in red wine, blueberries, cranberries, raspberries, grapes, peanuts, pistachios, cocoa, and dark chocolate. Here, we're going to dig into how resveratrol helps your brain. Some of this is going to get a little geeky, so stay with me here. Well, first, resveratrol improves memory. Resveratrol is an inhibitor of the enzyme PDE4. PDE4 inhibitors have a shown to be memory enhancers. Studies demonstrate that when you inhibit PDE4, you raise levels of CAMP in the brain. CAMP-dependent pathways in the brain activate AMPK. This effect of activating AMPK has a number of implications. First, this would make resveratrol an ampicine nootropic, similar to some of the racetams. And second, studies show that AMPK is activated by increases in the cellular AMP and ATP ratio. This helps preserve cellular energy that would account for at least some of the resveratrol neuroprotective properties. The same study at the Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis in Missouri demonstrated that resveratrol combined with nootropic alcar increased neurite growth, which would have a profound effect on boosting memory. And resveratrol also stimulated mitochondrial genesis. The researchers concluded, these findings suggest that neuronal activation of AMPK by resveratrol could affect neuronal energy homeostasis and contribute to the neuroprotective effects of resveratrol. And second, resveratrol boosts BDNF. Brain-derived nootropic factor, or BDNF, has been called miracle growth for the brain by Harvard neuropsychiatrist John Rady. When BDNF is released, nerve cells connect to other cells or their synapses. And as brain cells fire together, they wire together. And this is how new neural networks are formed and consolidated to create memory. Now, researchers in Iran administered resveratrol to rats for 30 days. The team was looking at the effects of resveratrol on the abundance of microRNA encoding, brain-derived nootropic factor, in the hippocampus. The team measured the levels of uh, BDNF in the rat brains and found that resveratrol elevated the level of BDNF in the hippocampus of these rats and concluded that the neuroprotective effects of resveratrol are due to its ability to boost BDNF microRNA. Resveratrol is an antioxidant polyphenol. 
which are present in food, foods like red wine, green tea, apples, berries, pomegranates, and dark chocolate. Polyphenols are among the most effective natural ways to combat aging and to prevent the health issues that often lead to cardiovascular and neurodegenerative diseases. Resveratrol helps prevent free radical damage to brain cells. Oxidative damage to brain cell membranes causes deterioration and eventually leads to premature cell death or apoptosis. Resveratrol has a unique ability to modulate cell apoptosis and prompt cell death only in instances where your brain would be healthier with fresh new cells. So, resveratrol promotes neurogenesis. And resveratrol inhibits the PDE4 enzyme that raises levels of C-AMP in your brain. Much like luteolin is found in artichoke extract in the Siltap stack. CAMP dependent pathways in the brain activate AMPK, which in turn energize brain cells and boost memory. Resveratrol helps boost cerebral circulation and brain derived nootropic factor. BDNF helps new neural networks form, which is the basis for memory formation. Research shows that resveratrol can improve memory by inhibiting PDE4 in the brain, which boosts uh, CAMP activity. It can tame inflammation in the brain. It can boost cerebral blood flow for more oxygen and nutrients to fuel uh, brain cells. It increases BDNF, helping new neural networks to form for memory consolidation and neuroprotective qualities that prevent damage to brain cells. Resveratrol quickly enters your brain after you take it, and once in your brain, it inhibits PDE4, which boosts CAMP activity. CAMP is involved in long-term potentiation processes of preserving memories, including p inhibiting PDE4 and boosting CAMP also makes the effect of normal dopamine production more effective. Boosting processes in the stream of chemical reactions in the brain increases learning and memory without the side effects of stimulating dopamine production through uh, the use of drugs like Adderall or Ritalin. Neurohackers report the effects of uh, resveratrol can be subtle, but you don't want to take it, any, take it too late in the afternoon or it could affect your sleep. And you may experience an increase in mood and motivation, increased ability to study, increased ability to re retain information, and improved long-term memory. Now, as a young neurohacker, you may not be concerned about the horrors of a disease like Alzheimer's. Yet, several clinical studies uh, make the case for using resveratrol to boost your memory and to avoid ever having to be concerned about this debilitating disease. 84,767 Americans die from Alzheimer's disease every year, and more than 230,000 suffer from dementia, severe enough to require nursing home care. The Alzheimer's Association uh, predicts that more than 5 million Americans are living with this disease, and you have a 1 in 3 chance of developing Alzheimer's or other de another dementia in your lifetime. Now, I have, now that I've got your attention, I, I highly recommend that you take a look at more of the clinical studies in this article or this uh, video transcript over on Nootropics Expert on using resveratrol to prevent Alzheimer's and dementia. I've got one study that shows how resveratrol protects against Alzheimer's by preventing the accumulation of abnormal proteins called amyloid beta. I've got another clinical study that shows that was done at the Max Planck Institute that shows how resveratrol improves memory I've got another one that was done, another study that was done at Northumbria University at Newcastle upon Tyne in the UK that shows how resveratrol improves cerebral circulation. And in that particular study, the researchers concluded that uh, resveratrol can increase cerebral blood flow with a single dose of the supplement. So to check out these studies, go to Nootropics Expert, search for resveratrol, or click on the link below this video. Resveratrol is found in small quantities in red wine and some plant foods. Red wine contains about 1.5 to 3 milligrams 
of resveratrol per liter of wine. So, if you do the math, comparable amounts of resveratrol from red wine for a 150 pound person means 750 to 1500 bottles of red wine a day, which I don't recommend. Resveratrol has a considerably shorter half-life than its cousin's Terra Still Bean and is easily absorbed but has poor bioavailability once it's ingested. Its half-life is one to three hours and two to five hours following repeated dosing. Micronized resveratrol, which is a much smaller particulate size, has been shown to have a 3.6 fold increase in bioavailability compared to standard resveratrol. And many of the clinical studies done in animals suggest a human equivalent of one to two grams for a 150 to 200 pound person. Now, many supplement makers offer much smaller quantities in capsules and tablets, and I do not advise taking such high doses of resveratrol like they use in these studies. But even in small amounts, resveratrol is believed to provide some of the benefits talked about in this, in this video. Now, based on all the published studies, the recommended daily dose of resveratrol is 20 milligrams for heart health, insulin sensitivity, and longevity. For cognitive benefit and increased cerebral blood flow, the recommended dose is 250 to 500 milligrams of resveratrol. It's better to dose at the lower end of recommended doses of resveratrol and see how your body reacts. Resveratrol is non-toxic and supplementation is well tolerated by most people. And uh, we don't have many human studies on resveratrol, so we've got to rely on user reviews. But resveratrol has mild estrogenic activity in the body. So if your estrogen is low, then you should avoid supplementing with resveratrol because this is a potentially serious side effect. Uh, and you should be getting your labs done um, and if you don't, it may show up as joint pain or arthritis-like symptoms. But on the other hand, if you're an older guy and you've got a problem with estrogen, resveratrol will help you to lower your estrogen levels. Now, some neurohackers report having trouble sleeping or staying asleep, particularly if using it uh, in the afternoon or evening. And if you are dealing with a blood disorder which causes bleeding, you should avoid resveratrol. If you are taking aspirin or warfarin, for example, you should not use the resveratrol. Long-term side effects reported by some neurohackers include diarrhea, discolored urine, dizziness, insomnia, jitters, joint pain, stomach pain, and tendinitis. Resveratrol comes in tablet, capsule, or powder form and is available by several well-known supplement makers. Most resveratrol supplements, supplements are made from uh, Japanese knotweed, and some come from grape skin extract. The bioactive form used in clinical studies and found in supplements is transresveratrol. Cis-resveratrol, or CIS, is a cis isomer and still bioactive, but has a very different chemical structure. So you want the transveratrol type. Purity of resveratrol is extremely important. Most resveratrol is made from Japanese knotweed. And a poor quality extract can contain high amounts of uh, emodin, which can act as a laxative and cause stomach cramps. High purity resveratrol extract, or like 99% purity or more from Japanese knotweed, contains insignificant amounts of emodin and should cause far fewer side effects. So your safest bet when choosing a resveratrol supplement is an extract from grapes or red wine, which can contain no impurities, and ideally the micronized version of resveratrol. So my nootropics expert recommendation for resveratrol is 20 to 250 milligrams a day. And that's my report on resveratrol. If you want to see links to the studies I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for resveratrol, or click on the link below this video. There you'll find the full transcript of this video, and you'll find dozens of articles on all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. If you have any questions, or you want to share your experience using resveratrol, please use the comment section at the bottom of the post on Nootropics Expert. 
I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you want to see more videos on all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up videos on nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.